Hi guys, Penny Rose Journals, how you doing? Okay, here we are with a weird little box that I found on my desk and I'm going to make a little journal and put in it um, because that's what I do with little boxes I found on my desk. <laughs> I either make little journals out of them or I use them to house little journals. So today we are going to house one in a box. So I am just cutting a piece of card um, about the same size as the base of the box and once that's cut to size I will just cover it in some um, decorative paper um, it's actually an old book page that I've printed uh, a pattern on and um, yes I'm going to use it to line the base of the box uh, because this is just a folded cardboard box it's not looking very attractive on the inside there at the base so I'm just going to cover that up so that is our first job. Right, I'm just going to use some acetone base glue to glue this into the base of the box. Um, I'm going to cut a lot of this out because needless to say I sat here and held this quite some time. Um, I wanted to make sure it really bonded with the base of the box and um, yeah, that was never going to come out again.
Okay, that's our little box pretty much covered in this um, paper that we have that I'm using here. Um, so that's all very uniform and lovely looking. Um, I feel like it needs some ink, so I'm going to ink that up and then we can start thinking about how we're going to construct a little journal to put in it.
Okay, to make the cover of the journal, I'm just going to use this um, small piece of food packaging that I had in a box behind me. Um, I will use that and I will cover it with the same um, paper that I have used on the box. I am going to make the cover of the journal with. So that's the plan. We'll cut this piece of um, card to the size we want um, in so far as the, the height of the cover and then I'm going to just begin folding it to the, the size basically of the box. Um, that way I can be assured that it will fit inside the box and it will fit nice and snugly but not too tightly. So I'm just going to measure it basically against the box, crease it on the, at those points and then cut off the bit that's not necessary. So yes, we will get that done and we will cover it with the... Um, the same paper as the box and then yeah we're gonna to have to start thinking about what we're gonna put inside it Okay, that's now covered and I've popped it onto my mat for a bit. Um, I will pull it out and ink it. Um, and then I decide I want to just um, cover the inside of the front covers uh, with the same paper. So I get that done and ink that as well. And then we're going to move on and use these coffee dyed pages that I have here to make signatures for this journal. Now I make a pile. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I, I didn't really have a plan when I started tearing up paper and I tore up a lot of paper. Um, quite by accident, really. <laughs> but in the den end of the day, it's exactly the right amount of paper. Um, I do put a lot of signatures in this book, um, but I am not sewing them in this time. Mm -hmm. This time um, I'm going to rip the pages to size and make the little signatures. And then I'm just going to use a piece of um, black 
uh, crochet thread and just tie them in so um, my camera did fail at this point um, not when I was making the, the signatures but when I went to tie them in um, my camera ran out of juice and yeah we lost all that footage but um, <laughs> On the upside, you do see me making some little tiny signatures here. And um, I did come back a little later and actually um, do a show and tell of the um, little journal and the box. And yeah, just to tack on to the end of this video so you don't you know, not see it at all. And um, I also took a bunch of stills, so you'll get to see those too. But anyway, um, yeah, I'll let you watch what's left of the video which uh, <laughs> is basically me tearing up paper and folding it into little tiny signatures
Okay, so I am basically making um, signatures of about 10 pages each. So, um, yeah, there's a lot of little signatures to go in. Um, I just decided I was going to try just tying them in and I didn't really feel like sewing them. So I thought I would just give it a go, see if it worked. If it didn't work, then I would have gone back to sewing. But um, as it turned out, it worked just fine. Um, I literally just put the... Um, thread in the middle of the signature, um, looped it around to the outside of the book and tied it off. So it was a little fiddly to get it nice and tight but it's doable and um, you know uh, certainly for a book this size it's not a hassle to you know have it like this it's not going to fall apart it's not there's no weight behind it so yeah um, just a different way of doing things really. But anyway, um, yeah, there we have it, our little book. And yeah, it's quite cute, I think. I, I like it. <laughs> so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little project. Um, it's unfortunate that I didn't get to tie them in with you, but um, yeah, you get the idea anyway. So thanks for spending time with me today, guys. I appreciate your company as always. And yeah, I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.